Okay, I want to do a continuation of my video on my advice for uh, young adults who are going to college. Just wanted to add to that video, one of the things that I think is very important is to understand that grade point average and class ranking and all that, you know, really, it's a number. It's a number. That's all it is. And actually, that number doesn't mean you're intelligent. I know plenty of 3.8s and 4.0s that don't even know who they are. They don't know themselves. They have no clue where they're going in life. So self-awareness, uh, teaching confidence, teaching uh, guiding uh, the right steps along the process, those things are far more valuable than a grade point average. Let's be honest about a grade point average. Does it symbolize hard work? Does it symbolize intelligence? Does it symbolize memorization? What does it symbolize? And then, you know, you get to college and you've got that nice GPA from high school and you're just supposed to strive all over again, starting at zero for another GPA. And what does all that mean, guys? What does it really mean if you don't know what you want to do with your life? Even if you do know what you want to do with your life, where does that line up at the very end? Um, again, the educational system in school and grade school what are we really doing with that number? You know, we get an A, we're excellent in something. And a lot of times it's a reflection of how well you memorize, not necessarily intelligence. Let's not just file away and collect information. Let's learn to be students of ourselves and people that want to learn more about who we are and how we can serve in this world and how we can find our passions. And if we can get paid for our passion, that's when we're winners. So keep all this in mind as you're starting to search for colleges and the process along, it doesn't always matter what your grade point average is. So uh, look for more videos. Thanks for checking me out and have a great 2016.